Hey you guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'll be expounding more on my reason for moving back to Jamaica. My main reason as mentioned in the previous video was for a better quality of life and my definition for a better quality of life entails a better education for my children, uh, better nutrition, more family time, a better appreciation for our culture and overall just an improvement in our lives in our daily lives to so the education system here in Jamaica it is British based and the curriculum is is a classical model which promotes character development I also love the way the students here pride themselves in their attire their uniform attire and their reverence for worship in school. The students here are very knowledgeable. They are critical thinkers who are also well articulated. They always excel on standardized testing, receiving the highest scores, and they normally advance in college. I recalled when I finished high school here because I moved right after high school to the US and I was two years ahead, straight out of high school here in Jamaica. My freshman year and my sophomore year, they were like, I breezed through it academically. A huge fan of education, and I'm proud of all things in my culture, and I'm also a locked queen. It's very obvious, you can see here with my whole attire and everything. I'm currently on my lock journey again after almost eight years. As for nutrition, I like to eat. Do you like to eat? I love food. And it's no coincidence I married a chef. No, I'm just kidding. We know, we've known each other since we were six years old, way before he even realized eventually become a chef. But anywho, my love for food, I will try anything once, at least once. Um, here in Jamaica, it's so much easier to source organic food, fruits and vegetables, even fish. I no longer eat meat or chicken. I'm also on a new lifestyle change in addition to moving back home. And this isn't my first rodeo because I've done this before for almost six years. I was, I would call myself a vegetarian, even though I hate to label myself. Everything tastes so much better here. It's much richer, there's so much more flavor. And I love the fact that if I do feel for some fish, I can easily go to the fishery where the fishermen are and I can get a fresh catch, take it home, to the fire and straight to the table. Fresh fish for dinner and it's just delicious. I've noticed also that since we've moved back that we have been spending quality family time together. While living in the States, I would say that my husband and I, we both worked. He would work two jobs and I was also in school. I have the children and I was working a full-time job so it makes it really hard for us to all be together all at the same time. The schedule is on clockwork where during the week the children they have school and from school we go to practices, we go to extra lessons or whatever extracurricular activities they're involved in. On our way home we would stop and grab food, we'll eat in the car, by the time we get home it's just enough time to settle in, take a bath or a shower and head straight to bed. My husband normally gets in so late, super, super late, the kids would be in bed and by the time they leave in the morning, he probably would be still asleep or if he had an early day, he would already have left for the day. There's no shopping malls, it has been a great change for us as a family. But I'll also share a video on minimalism and how it has changed our lives for the better because I now see that living in the States we hoard a lot of things. We, we accumulate so much stuff from all these sales and 
idea of saving money when in reality we're spending and always spending and accumulating all these stuff that we usually don't need. I've also realized that I have a greater appreciation for the Jamaican culture since I moved back home. We're such a tiny little island with so much influence all over the world. And it's almost as if being a Jamaican, it's not a status or a citizenship, it's more like a lifestyle. And funny enough, I didn't realize this until I moved back home where I get to see or I interact daily with people who are just visiting, whether they're tourists or, um, or locals who live abroad. We enjoy the music, the food, art, dance, and sports. And it's like now we pay more attention to everything Jamaican and everything that is going on. We get to celebrate the special holidays, um, on all the festivities that are celebrated all year round. We never get to forget, not one. And I remember living in the States, I would probably remember that it was our National Heroes Day, like when the day was almost over and I went on social media and saw everyone, you know, in a frenzy celebrating all day long and sending their well wishes. But now we get to live it we get to see, we get to feel. However, despite all our festivities and our celebratory and vibes in nature as Jamaicans, we are molded by our religious principles and norms, which is also a very dear thing to my heart. We do have a connection to a source and I'll also have another video on spirituality, my spiritual journey. Jamaicans, we all love to party and we will party all night Saturday night, but we're in church come Sunday morning. We will party New Year's Eve straight into New Year's Day and even the following day. Before this COVID-19 pandemic, people were partying all night long and all day long. It's like we were becoming the party central of the world. And to close this video, I just wanted to share a fun fact with you guys. And it has been in the Guinness World Book of Record, the most churches per square mile. Across the entire world, Jamaica is considered a Christian nation because we are known to have the most churches per square mile. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I have another video with my second reason, which is the cost of living here in Jamaica. Next video, I'll be talking about the cost of living, minimalism, and how we can actually save money by living here and I also want to talk about investments and possibly buying property and real estate. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And please leave a comment down below on any suggestions that you might have for any future videos. Please like and share this video. And I hope you enjoy watching. See you next time.